Brisket gets all the attention, and I get it. I mean, a perfectly cooked brisket can be absolutely magical, but there really is another cut that should be sharing the spotlight. Don't miss these tips on a perfectly tender, shreddable, smoky chuck roast. Let's get it started. We're gonna get the smoke rolling in the big green egg. This is how I set up the egg. Load in some natural lump charcoal, spread things out and get them started. I like these charcoal starters from Big Green Egg. When you use them, here's a tip. Fray the corners so they're easier to start. Nestle a couple in the coals and get things lit. We'll add some hardwood chunks. For me, it's hickory. Top with the diffuser. Big Green Egg calls this the convector, by the way. Notice I wrap the top in foil. I just find this helps with cleanup with those drips that come from the roast. Okay, put the top grate on, close things up and adjust the airflow. Top regulator should have a small smile of an opening and put the draft door to only about a thumb width open. Target here is to smoke around 250 degrees. Okay, let's get our seasoning ready. Two ingredients, kosher salt and coarse black pepper. But the pepper I use is a dustless pepper. This is popular with pitmasters because it's got a consistent granule size which contributes to a great peppery bark. Look for 16 to 18 mesh dustless black pepper. We'll mix this in a one-to-one -one ratio. You know, if you want less pepper, go two parts salt and one part pepper, up to you. Here's another pro tip. Transfer your seasoning to a shaker like this one. You'll keep things cleaner. You'll have better control for even seasoning. Just make sure the holes on the lid are big enough. With our seasoning ready, let's move on to the star of the show, a certified Angus beef chuck roast. Just like you'd buy for a classic pot roast, this guy is a hefty three pounds. The marbling throughout this cut is so abundant. Slow cooked in the smoker, this will be amazing. Before we apply our salt and pepper, we're gonna put yellow mustard all over the roast. This does a couple things. It adds a subtle flavor that balances well with a rich cut like this, but also it helps hold the seasoning on. So squirt a generous amount all over the chuck roast and rub it in the meat, including the sides. Now we can season with salt and pepper, nice and even, a good amount on all sides. This shaker is so helpful for that even seasoning. Ideally, you let this sit overnight in the fridge to have the seasoning penetrate further into the roast. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna jump right into the smoker, which is ready to go. Do your best to maintain a consistent temperature, avoiding spiking above 275 or lower than 225. Smoke the roast for about five to six hours until the internal temperature reaches 170. The bark looks amazing. Now we'll wrap the roast to protect it from getting dried out. I use peach paper like this or foil. Just make sure it's secure. Use two sheets if you have to. Back into the smoker for another hour or so until we reach 200 to 205 degrees. From this point, you should let it rest for about an hour. If you're using foil, it should be opened a bit while it rests to allow excess steam to escape. The bark looks great. It should be fall apart tender so we can shred and enjoy. When it's cool enough to the touch, pull it apart by hand or use forks to shred it. I like to have it in bigger chunks, so I won't be using the forks here. It smells incredible. I can't wait to dive in. Smoked chuck roast might just replace brisket in your world, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna be so versatile. You could do it for tacos, you could put it on pasta. Let's put it on a sandwich and see how great this tastes. We'll put some chunks on a bun. I'll pile mine as high as I can. Add a little of your favorite barbecue sauce. This one is our homemade spicy vinegar barbecue sauce. Check it out on our website. Then, a little homemade slaw. Classic combination here. Top it with a bun, dive in. Let's have a bite. Let's go. Mm. It's so smoky and delicious and juicy. I tell you what, brisket's gonna have a hard time keeping up with this new favorite of mine. I can't wait for you to try it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time at the Test Kitchen at Certified Angus Peace.